Okay, thanks for coming. Bye. <sighs> Are you sure you want to stay? You don't have to, you know. I don't want to keep you if you have anything else planned for tonight. Well, as long as it's okay with you, then it's fine by me. <laughs> so, did you enjoy the party? I know I invited a lot of people, but it was still surprising to see how many actually showed up. Too many people got drunk? Yeah, I admit some people went a little overboard. Thankfully, I mentioned that if people wanted to drink, they had to bring something of their own. I don't think I've ever had so much alcohol in the house before. <laughs> yeah, honestly, all the gifts I got were actually pretty surprising. I was expecting socks or some crappy gift cards or something like that. I definitely wasn't expecting such thoughtful gifts. There were some people who I didn't expect anything from, but I'm really happy with what I was given. Oh, that goes over there. Thanks. Honestly, I'm pretty surprised at how clean everything is. I must have a great judge of character with how many people came and the house is honestly pretty well kept. What? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> okay, I am not a neat freak. <laughs> How dare you? It's my birthday, and yet you're still here making fun of me. Honestly, I might just go sit in my room with some of my presents and leave you all alone to clean the house by yourself. Uh-huh. That's what I thought. <laughs> anyway, what do you have planned for when you get home? Doing anything fun, or is the reason you're helping me not out of the kindness of your heart, but because you have nothing to do? No, I'm not trying to trick you. Why would I do that? I am one of the most trustworthy people you know. I just asked an innocent question. Okay, then. Well, after this, I'm thinking about watching a movie in bed. Or maybe I'll watch a Let's Play or something. I need to make food, too. I didn't really eat during the party. I was too busy talking to everyone, being a good hostess, you know? Oh, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure someone got me a pillow. Which is weird, don't get me wrong. But if it's comfortable, it might be the best gift I got today, honestly. Yes, maybe even better than yours. It's not my fault that I value my precious sleep more than I value chocolate. You don't get this good looking just staying up all night with guys, you know. You've got to get your sleep, drink your water, not stay up until three in the morning playing video games and chugging coffee all night. <laughs> I'm not dissecting your life, at least not intentionally. If that little rant got you down to a T, it sounds like you need to fix some things. If not for your sake, do it for me. I mean, it is my birthday after all. It may be bad luck to make a girl unhappy on her birthday. I wouldn't want to chance it. Would you? Your deafening silence is proving my point. Well, at least we both know I can read you like a book, huh? <laughs> Did I get everything I wanted? Changing the subject, are we? Okay. Um, I'd say I got most of what I wanted. I wouldn't say everything, though. Honestly, some people went a little overboard with how many presents they gifted me. What's missing? 
Oh, nothing too major. I'd rather have it than not have it, but it's not something I need to live, you know? It would make life more enjoyable, make me happy, feel safe, but not something I actually need to live out my life. Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Just because it sounds important doesn't mean it is. Plus, you already gave me a gift. I'm not letting you get me another one, especially after I just told you that some people went overboard with how many gifts they gave me. Hmm, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not telling. You'll never get it out of me. Not for nothing, anyway. What can you give me? That is a good question, isn't it? <laughs> huh. I suppose you could offer me a few things. You've already given me some chocolate, which I will 100% be having later. I already got most of what I wanted, apart from the gift you're currently trying to pry out of me, which, by the way, you are failing tremendously at. <laughs> Hmm, how about we watch a movie? If you can sit through a movie with me, I will feel like you've earned the right to know what the gift I want is. Well, you told me you have nothing else to do. Is it too hard for you to sit down and watch a movie with little old me? Or is it something else entirely? <laughs> Are you too nervous to sit with me alone and have something as simple as a movie playing in the background? <laughs> Someone seems a little defensive. Alright then, if you so wish to prove you can, let's hurry up and finish cleaning. Alright, finally done. Got any recommendations, or should I just find something for us to watch? Birthday girl's choice, huh? What a gentleman. Well, first, let's check if we're missing anything. We have the drinks, the snacks. Sadly, we have no popcorn, but we'll live. The place is nice and clean. Everyone who was here is gone, so I'd say we're ready. Are you ready? Perfect. Then I shall start the movie. Well, I was not expecting that twist. I really thought the original killer was going to come back in this one, though. Anyway, thanks for watching this movie with me. It was fun. You think you're still okay to drive home? What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Right, we made a deal. You sit and watch the movie with me, and I'll tell you the gift I really wanted. Okay, well, a deal is a deal. <laughs> what? I'm just sitting on your lap. Well, if I'm gonna tell you all about the gift I need, that would make my life complete. I think this is a fitting place for me to sit. Do you promise you won't go telling my secret to the whole world? Good. Well... The gift that I so desperately need is you. <laughs> yeah, I've wanted you for a long time now, craved you for a long time now. I remember when we first met. Our two groups sort of intertwined when our friends started dating. I just remember how kind you were, 
how happy you seemed no matter what the day threw at you. You always seemed to be the light everyone used to look through the darkness and get through the day. After a while of seeing everyone use you like that, I wanted you all to myself. I wanted to hold you, to hear your heartbeat while I rest my head against your chest, being the only one who truly knows how you feel. I want to see you turn bright red as you tell people I'm yours. I want to see your confidence slowly crumble into shyness when I say you're mine. I want to be with you. That would be the best gift ever. At a loss for words. Sorry. That was a pretty long rant, but I just wanted you to understand how much I want you. How much you mean to me. What you mean to me. Even straddling you like this makes me feel safer than I've ever felt. And yet, you haven't even wrapped your arms around me. I can see your arms wanting to. So, why don't you? Hold me. Keep me safe. Make me yours. See, that's it. Isn't that so much better? Feeling your arms around me. Please don't ever let me go. I never want to let you go either. You're my ray of sunshine in this world of darkness, and I need you to help me see. Yeah, it is still my birthday. I can take another gift, if you want to hand yourself over to me. <laughs> <laughs> gift accepted. Now this is definitely the best birthday ever. <laughs> Why are you turning so red? <laughs> Could it be because an attractive girl is holding you close? Telling you she wants nothing else from this world, but just you. If you turn any redder, we might have to go to bed faster than expected. <laughs> Shh, it's okay. I'm yours now. You don't have to be embarrassed. No matter how expensive this birthday was or how many gifts I got, None of it would have come close to making me as happy as you make me feel. Yeah, I guess we can't really keep this a secret from the others, huh? Oh well. I doubt it'll be hidden for long anyways, because now my new seat is right here in the lap. Oh, you have no idea. Teasing you? Is going to be my new favorite pastime. Next to cuddling with you, that is. <laughs> well, that's just one of the many new things you'll have to deal with, isn't it? I think the trade-off of you being embarrassed all the time is worth you getting some of these. See? How was that? All those worries of yours just washed away, huh? <laughs> I guess it's true I should be the only one receiving gifts today, so how about we call that a treat? Just a lot more addicting and sweet than a treat. Shut up. I do not put on that much lip balm. Oh, you want me to prove it, do you? <laughs> All right, then. Ah, 
I guess it's safe to say you're staying here tonight, right? <laughs> no, you don't have a choice. It's my birthday, so you have to do whatever I decide to keep me happy. And my decision is that you're staying here with me tonight. I did mention I never want to let you go, and I plan to prove how true that fact is. Possessive? I mean, if you really want me to be, I can be. <laughs> it's okay, I won't become possessive over you. Unless you make me fall for you even more than I already have which I believe to be impossible. But if you do, I may need to tie you up and keep you as mine forever. <laughs> I'm only teasing. Or am I? How about we stop talking so I can give you more treats? <laughs> Yeah, good choice. Best birthday ever. <laughs>